Hey guys, uh, welcome back, and if you're new, then welcome to this place for the very first time. As always, pretty much, we are going to watch Game of Thrones, and this episode is the penultimate episode of Season 7, which is kind of crazy, and it is called Beyond the Wall. I'm not going to do a recap this episode because there was a huge storm so I have to start a little bit later and I would like to still go to bed at a somewhat decent time. So yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Finally I hit the bullseye. Could have been the 20th shot or the 50th, I don't remember. But I hit the bullseye and I heard this. I looked up and he's standing right here, smiling down at me. I knew what I was doing was against the rules, but he was smiling, so I knew it wasn't wrong. The rules were wrong. I was doing what I was meant to be doing, and he knew it. How does he just make them stop in their tracks like that? That's creepy. <laughs> Did it bite him? Does that matter? Probably not. They're not like they're zombies. His scream probably called a bunch of them to them. That's really not good. Don't you even... I 
No, you, no. No. No! No, no, please! Go! No! No! Bitch, if you even fucking no, 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 no. no. Come up. Come up. Okay, thank God. He needs to fucking build a fire or something. No, she's gonna freeze it down real quick. doesn't just let girls decide what they're going to be. But I can now. With the faces I can choose, I could even become you. I don't like this, you guys. I'm gonna be so pissed. You haven't, like, I'm so mad right now. I wonder what it would feel like to wear those pretty dresses. Like, I will fucking quit the show. To be the Lady of Winterfell. If they try to turn Arya bad. Like, she's not... All I need to find out is your face. Okay. If we hadn't gone, I wouldn't have seen. You have to see it to know. Mm -hmm. Now I know. That's true. The dragons are my children. They're the only children I'll ever have. Do you understand? We are going to destroy the Night King and his army. We'll do it together then. You have my word. Thank you, darling. All right. Not How about my queen? Go for them. Um, bend the knee. But what about those who swore allegiance to you? They'll all come to see you for what you are. Okay, but I'm making a freaking White Walker dragon. Guys, okay. I'm not okay with them. I'm not okay with them. This is so not. We are in the post episode discussion section of the video. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, see you next week. Or I guess never again if you decide that you just don't like the reaction. Once again this week, what I did not like was <sighs> the lack of anybody involved in Arya's life talking about Arya and 
there's literally no excuse for this week. You could almost excuse it last week, like I said, you know, and some people were like, well, it's coming and everything. But they had a very long stretch where they're just walking and talking and like freaking Tormund mentions Brian and, you know, Gendry's talking about Melisandre again and Beric's talking about Ned. But there's no Arya. Gendry, again, doesn't feel compelled to mention Arya. The Hound doesn't feel compelled to mention Arya or Sansa, which someone pointed out that he would consider caring about them a weakness. So it does make sense that the Hound wouldn't mention it. But I'm sorry, I do not forgive Gendry and Jon for not talking about Arya. And I don't forgive the show for not giving us that. It's stupid. It would take two seconds. And they literally had such a long span of time where people are just talking about pointless shit in this episode anyway. So I'm mad about it. I'm so mad about it. I'm going to stay mad about it. Speaking of things I didn't like, I do kind of feel like every scene where they were walking and talking honestly could have been cut out of this episode when they were walking and talking down the wall. And it wouldn't have lost anything. I did like Barrack and John's talk. It might be the only one that could have been kept. And I would have been like, okay, yeah, this is logical. When Barrack was saying that they were brought back for a reason and that death was the enemy, that they fought even though it always wins, you know. And John said, I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I just, I liked that hint to John's past, and I liked the idea that the true enemy of everything is death, and you can never really escape it, you can just hold it off for as long as possible. I loved Arya talking about Ned in that scene with Sansa, because Arya and Ned always had such an amazing relationship, and I love that, that they've kept that throughout. I love that the show in general has mentioned Ned so much this season, his his memory and the idea of him is ever present and I just love that. Arya's talking about playing the lion game. Like when I was watching it, I guess I was so like stressed out. I didn't think about the fact that Sansa said for her to go, right? So Arya was gonna see if she could if Sansa could figure out when she was lying. And so she's like, okay. And then she tells that lie, you know, like, oh I could just kill you and maybe I wanna be you, blah blah all that stuff, you know. And then she shows her that she's lying by flipping the knife. You know, I don't know if Sansa got it, but because it took me a second to get it, but I got it and I was like, okay. I don't, I'm not crazy about the fact that they try to make it seem like Arya is gone off the deep end though, because I think a lot of people aren't gonna look beyond the surface. And so many people misunderstand Arya as a character already anyway, that I'm, it drives me crazy having to hear all these People being like, oh, Arya, oh, she's bad. Oh. So it did bother me in the sense that I just know all the people who already hate Arya and who already don't look beyond the surface and who already don't understand her as a character are just going to feel validated in it. But I'm still hoping that Arya and Sansa will team up, you know, somebody talks to, somebody needs to freaking talk to Bran, and they can figure out that Littlefinger's playing everyone. I don't understand either why Sansa doesn't suspect Littlefinger having anything to do with it, but with Arya finding the note, when he's the only person in Winterfell that was actually present when she wrote the note, is, is this not a clue that he might have something to do with it? So, the biggest part of this episode was obviously the battle with the, uh, the group of seven that John took beyond the wall and the freaking army of the dead, which was a freaking army. I was like, y'all are freaking screwed unless Danny comes. This is, this is, there's no way this is going to work. I do like that they've now figured out that if you take out one of the white walkers, then like the whites, um, like a bunch of them fall. So it must be, like they said, it must be they turned them. You guys, I'm, I'm not here to see dragons die, okay? I'm, I'm not here for that. I don't, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. It's upsetting to me. I don't like it. And then the freaking at the end when the freaking Night King touches him and he's a freaking ice 
dragon? Like, what the hell? How? I. They're already freaking basically unstoppable, and now you're gonna you have a freaking ice dragon on your side too. That seems unfair. I'm so excited to see Benjamin Stark. Benjamin, I can't believe. I was, I was like, I don't know how the hell John is going to get out of this when he fell in the water or whatever, but I was like, he's got to get out of it. Thank God. Benjamin! He died protecting Liana's son, though. It makes me real emotional. I wonder if Benjamin knew, if Ned ever told him. He didn't tell Catelyn. But I wonder if he ever told Benjamin. There was some Danny and John romance. When he said my queen, I was like, yes. I wonder how that's going to be affected when he finds out that he's a Targaryen, though. I mean, if, I feel like they're already going to have fallen for each other since they're already well on their way. Uh, so maybe it won't matter, but it would just be interesting to see. I forgot, Thoros did die, so that's sad. My prediction was that uh, Thoros and Beric were going to die, but it was only Thoros. We only lost one person in that whole expedition, which honestly makes me pretty nervous because if you think about it, we've lost very few people this entire season. No main characters, really, that I can remember. Have we, have we lost any main characters yet this season? I'm trying to think of what my predictions are for the next episode, the finale of season seven. I don't know. I assume probably the wall is going to come down. The White Walkers will reach the wall and it will come down. It's probably a good guess. Probably a meeting between Danny and Cersei and John and all them. That'll be interesting. Somebody's going to die. Somebody big has to die. Because it's the end of season seven and they haven't killed anybody big that I can remember. I mean, Walter Frey, but everyone wanted him to die. I don't want any more dragons to die. I would like for Arya and Gendry to meet back up. Arya and Jon, if he remembers he has a sister. At some point, I honestly just don't know where this is going to go in the next episode. I might be forgetting something that happened, but I don't remember it if I am, so sorry. Tell me what you guys thought of the episode. Tell me your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. As always, I will read them and try to respond to you guys. Only seven episodes left of the show overall. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, guys. Um, I'll see you again next week for the season finale of season seven. Uh, I'll stop talking now. Uh, until next time, guys. Bye.